Now, for more than four years, the town of Wooden Bassett in southwest England has honoured Britain's war dead. But yesterday, local people gathered for one last time as a service marked the end of their ceremonial duty. Sky's Katie Stallard was there. There were so many strong emotions in this high street tonight, but above all, I would say what it was was pride. They are proud that they have been able to do this. They are privileged to have been in a position to do it. And as one old serviceman told me tonight, with tears in his eyes, they have just done what they could do. He said it was just a small duty. It was a very small thing to give back in return for those who have given their lives for this country. At the going down of the sun, the final lowering of the flag in the soon-to-be royal Wooten Bassett. The small Wiltshire town that did its duty, that stood on behalf of a nation so that its fallen would not be forgotten. Duty done, the Union flag will be formally presented to RAF Bryce Norton as they resume responsibility for repatriations. We're going to miss it because we've really felt that we're, we're giving something. We've met some really nice people. All the families have come up and shook our hands and said, thank you so much, this is what we needed. Nobody asked them to do this. No one person organises it. It's just what became of a dozen men who stood here four and a half years ago because they'd heard a serviceman's coffin was coming through. From there, friends, neighbours, strangers joined them to stand together in this street to honour the return of the fallen home. Lance Corporal James Hill was killed on duty in Afghanistan in October 2009. His mother will never forget the respect and the honour this small town gave her only son. James was our world and they wouldn't have known that. And yet they were prepared to just come out and show that they cared. And I, and I can't thank them enough for that. As the Wooten Brass Band played the ceremony out, the one element that no one had planned. And no amount of military precision could have put it better. A fitting end to a job well done, Wooten Bassett stands down with pride. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Wooten Bassett.